Hello, welcome to Mr. CFD. In this video, you will learn how to generate the geometry and mesh of the product thermal analysis in a storage tank. To start generating the geometry, first you should open a workbench window, so click on it. Workbench window is opened like this and from the list in the left side choose fluid flow fluent and drag it to the blank window Then click on geometry actually right click on it To choose new space claim uh, geometry So this is a space claim window and we can start uh, drawing a rectangle so from a sketch choose rectangle command and from the center of the coordinate in yx a sketch draw a rect uh, sorry draw a square uh, in which the length is two meters Uh, actually, here we should change the unit because now the unit is in millimeters. Uh, to do that, go to File, Options, and then choose Units. And change the unit from millimeters to meters. Yeah, that's it. Now click on OK. So yes, uh, now we have the units in meters, so keep on giving uh, the length size as 2 meters. So this is the square that we need for generating the storage tank. Now it's time to uh, split the edges to create uh, the inlet and outlet section on the boundaries of this square so go to split and choose this edge and uh, here i want to divide mm, the edge to into two parts so i uh, set 50 percent so it became two parts and now again go to split and this time i choose the half of the edge and this time a set uh, actually 15% and do the same for the other one so yeah now we have uh, two small sections in the middle of this edge but now I want to merge these two uh, small edges mm -hmm. so go to repair choose a split edge and remove uh, the middle point and now back to select mode now you have uh, three edges and now I want to do the same uh, with the lower edge of the square and split it uh, again first by 50% and divide it into two edges okay and now uh, choose now choose the left one and split it uh, about 40%. Now we have two edges on the left edge uh, in the lower edge of the uh, square. And we want to keep on splitting. Now choose this edge and again split it by... Uh, 33.33% uh, percent. okay and finally do the same with the right edge yes 40% then the next one that is splitted by 33.33 so yeah we have three edges and now go to repair split edges and remove the middle one 
back to select mode and now we have two small edges as the inlets and this one as outlet after closing uh, the geometry in a space plane uh, go to ANSYS meshing and as you see uh, the geometry is transported here and if you click on mesh uh, try to give element size for the whole geometry first I want to generate mesh by the default size Yeah, the, this is uh, meshed, but I want to change the element size to this value and then right click on mesh update. As you see, uh, the meshing has been done, uh, and the mesh type is structured. And if you click on the surface and right click and insert, and choose face meshing and again update the meshing face meshing is done and here you can check how many cells are created and finally I want to uh, give name to different boundaries of the geometry so choose the edge from the toolbox and choose uh, the small edge on the top and right click and name it as outlet and then uh, choose these edges this one and this one and this one try to select all of them by getting control key on your keyboard right click create name selection and name them as wall uh-huh and according to the product we have hot inlet in the left side so this one is uh, named as hot inlet and the right small edge is named as cold inlet so yeah we have named all the boundaries and you can see they are created here And after that, choose uh, the surface and click on the surface, right click, create name selection and name it as fluid. That's it. And now right click on mesh update. So the meshing data is transferred to ANSYS Fluid. Hope this video is helpful for you to benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training. Visit our website www.mrcfd.com or contact us via info at mrcfd.com.